my beauties, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. I am filming a brand new release and a very exciting one. I was super excited when I seen Samantha's post on Instagram about the Bite Beauty Foundation. I ran to Sephora right away last night and I tested it out in the store and damn, it is awesome. So this is the Bite Beauty, and this is the Change Maker Micellar Foundation. And I am using the shade L40. This one is a light neutral color for me, because I am a lot of neutrals. So, and on here, it is a skin-like finish you crave, the clean, the clean formula you deserve, medium coverage, and it also says for best results use with change maker primer and pressed powder keep at room temperature i didn't actually pick up the powder and the um, primer but i'm thinking about it i wanted to give this a try bite beauty is cruelty free vegan and this is gluten free so this is really nice um, this is part of the clean beauty at sephora and i'm very happy that more brands are starting to do this and more brands are coming into Sephora. So I already primed my face and I used the Milk Hydro Primer. And I'm just kind of letting this sit on my skin for just a second here. Uh, I didn't really want to try a lot of new stuff out all at the same time because if I don't like something, I might blame it on that other product. And I'm going to use the Bite Beauty, the Agave Lip Balm because my lips are tapped. It is dry here in Wisconsin, so my babies are sore. And this is probably like the fifth or sixth tube of this stuff and I do like this stuff a lot. And I, I seen that they came out with some new lipsticks as well and also moisturizers. So just gonna let that sit for a second here. All right, I'm gonna use the Scandinavia The Makeup Primer Spray. And I'm going to try the foundation with a brush, but I also have a damp beauty blender here. So I'm going to use the Smith 115 foundation brush. I'm excited to use it because it is freshly clean. So I just took the cap off and it is sealed. And it is not a pump, that's okay. No problems with me. I like it that it's a squeeze tube. And I'm going to take some of this on the back of my hand. And it is a thicker formulation. I don't really smell too much of a fragrance, which is good for some people that have sensitivities to that. Taking my clean brush lightly into the product, dabbing it in. Not bad. to apply a little bit more on my forehead and distribute into areas as well that I need more coverage. Yes, and this little guy decided to pop up. Did not do my brows yet. Concealer on my eyes. You hear a little walking. <clears throat> Reva's actually walking in the hallway. Brody's actually home today. And I usually don't film when Brody's home. I usually like to wait until he's gone, but he's not working today. 
and I did not want to wait to actually try this out. I was just that too excited for it. We're going to be working on some of the house stuff today. This is what the skin looks like with just the brush application. And I think this looks really, really nice. Not very heavy, but it is a medium coverage. And I have little hairs on my face. I'm gonna move closer so you guys can see. This looks really, really nice. And it matches really well too. So I'm just gonna take my beauty blender of the Morphe Continuous Mist onto it because it's a little dry. And just make sure I'm stamping it in. is actually coming off so it actually sets pretty nice. I'm just gonna go to the Bite Beauty's website and I can read you some more about the foundation. So I like that they have the new face of clean and this is what their website looks like and I love the colors of the lipstick. I went to Sephora as well to see if they had the color beetroot and it's like a dark plummy purple but unfortunately they did not have those lipsticks out yet so I was like all right on the website so they have the foundation only and then they have the set so it comes with the primer foundation and the powder the foundation costs 39 dollars and 50 cents and there are 32 colors which is really really nice so it's a clean, high-performance foundation with gentle micellar technology to mimic skin texture for a natural, flawless finish, buildable medium coverage in 32 longwear shades. And it is a one ounce of product. So they have eight, four categories, light, medium, tan, and dark, and eight shades of each, which is really neat. I'm just letting this sit to see how it looks. It looks kind of dewy, almost in a way. All right, so this is the foundation set for a little bit here. I'm gonna get Brody in here to see what he thinks of it. Since he's home, I'm gonna use him today. Let's see if he'll answer. Can you come look at my foundation? Tell me what you think. Sure. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. The Bite Beauty stuff? What do you think of it? Does it look weird? No? Not at all? Natural. Does it look glowy? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put concealer on and highlight and blush and bronzer. I'm not going to set all of my areas of my face, I'm just going to set some of my areas. I did pick up a new bronzer as well to try and got the Milk Makeup and this is the Baked Bronzer. And I already have like a small size of it and I used it actually up all already because I like it that much. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and I will zoom through this so we can check back in when I'm done. So let's get going. <music> Thank you. 
All right guys, so this is my face completely done from the foundation to concealer and eyeshadows and little lip concoction of a couple different things. But my foundation has been on for just a little bit here, about 20 minutes, and it definitely looks really, really nice. I kind of can't wait to see what my skin looks like when it actually warms up to it more during the day. But this is like really, really pretty and it definitely isn't emphasizing anything strange. I have been trying to take care of my skin a lot better. <clears throat> it isn't emphasizing anything strange or anything. Um, I've been taking care of my skin and trying out a lot of new skincare, and my skin has been definitely reacting to it very, very nicely. But I do have to say that this is really, really nice so far. It kind of almost reminds me like the Lancome, the skin feels good, but I almost feel like this might be actually even better. And that was like a very big, very nice good winner for me. This is the Bite Beauty Change Maker Supercharged Micellar Foundation, and it is a one fluid ounce or 30 milliliter and it is made in Italy. It does have the 12 month stamp on the back and it also shows you the color. It, the foundation retails for $39.50 and just showing you again from the Bite Beauty webpage and this is showing all four skin tones from the light, the medium, bronzed, and dark and they show eight shades per. And the foundation came out yesterday. And I am really excited to see what else comes out from Bite Beauty, especially with lipsticks. And maybe they'll actually come out with more, maybe like blushes and highlighters and stuff too, because I definitely love a clean beauty skincare. I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression review and application video of the new Bite Beauty foundation. It is definitely going to be put into rotation and I'm going to try this out a lot more uh, a few days in a row to see how my skin actually even works with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure that if you have not, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that little bell. Give me some thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think. Do you guys like it? Have you guys wanted to try it? Have you guys picked it up and loved it or hated it? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!